Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmasso at the 1916company.com for purchase, pricing, and availability details. Today, we're discussing the Jager LeCoultre Master Chronograph, a model launched in 2010. This example was sold in 2013. 40 millimeters in diameter, it is 12.7 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, 47.7 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So not undersized, not oversized, right sized for modern men's dress complication. It wears nicely on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see over the top, the cuff shot, it'll easily slide underneath a tight dress cuff. And then down the barrel where you can see, I've got a little bit of clearance. I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. My wrist is 16. Strap is high grade. You can see medium rectangular scale alligator leather in a sort of reddish brown with a semi-gloss finish. There's a little bit of bolstering or stuffing to give it volume. We've got a monotone stitch. We've got a very narrow sheer cut and lacquered flank on the bottom. Calfskin, a Chagere LeCoultre factory strap in outstanding condition. And you can see JLC uses pull tab spring bars now. So you can pop the strap off the case without any kind of a tool. We have a polished Chagere LeCoultre branded pin buckle. And then we have curved spring bars that allow the lugs to be drilled relatively close to the case to move the pivot centers of the strap even further inboard for better small wrist fit. A polished case, we have integrated blended lug profiling with sort of soft crease or bevel that expands as you move towards the end of the lug. Rectangular, vintage-inspired chronograph pushers. We have a JL-branded crown. It is a push-down crown. The watch is 50 meters water-resistant, which is still not suitable for swimming with a push-down crown but remarkable for a dress watch as they're typically 30 meters. You can see the bezel is stepped in from the case band a little bit to visually thin the watch. It has a vertical lip and then a conical profile, giving way to a crystal that has a little bit of a camber to it or rounded top. The dial, a metallic silver sunburst brushed with a radial grain. There's a pulsation scale outboard, and the way that works is, let's say you are a doctor or an athletic trainer, you start counting the pulses when you start the chronograph and vice versa. Now, you count to 13 pulses when you hear the, or 30th, I should say, when you hear the 30th pulse, you stop the chronograph and you can see you're looking at approximately 139, 138 beats per minute. So that's how that works right there. So a pulsation scale, sometimes known as a doctor's scale. The hands are half frosted alpha hands, the half frosted element, making them contrast better against the dial base. We have triple registers. So we have chronograph seconds, minutes, and hours. We have semi-instantaneous jumping minutes. You can see polished and faceted rose gold dart style indices to match the rose gold alpha hands at center. The watch does feature some luminescence, though not a lot. And you can see we have two setting modes. One is hacking seconds. It stops the movement. Now you can set the watch to a reference time. We have small seconds down at the base of the dial. Note that the chronograph sub-registers are larger than the one for small seconds. You can see as the minute hand transits 12 o'clock, the semi-instantaneous jump will take place. So in addition to the quick set system, the hacking system, we also have a column wheel chronograph, by the way, just to clarify when I say the quick set system. I mean there is a quick set system for the dates. You can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. But we also have the column wheel system, which is the function selector inside the watch. Column wheels are renowned for their crisp feel and sound. More traditional and harder to tune than a cam system, they tend to be featured on higher-end chronographs. This watch also uses a vertical clutch, which means when you engage the chronograph, there's no jump, stagger, or extraneous motion to the chronograph seconds hand. And if you wish, because there's no additional wear, tear, or damage to the watch done when you leave a vertical clutch running, you can simply leave it running to have your center seconds, and some people will do that. On the reverse, you can see we have a solid case back over a movement, which is frankly not beautiful. I'm actually glad JLC did a nicely designed solid case back. It makes the watch thinner, and I like to see this geosphere symbol. Originally the symbol of the 1957 and 1958 geophysical year, it first appeared on the geophysic watch of the 1950s. Today, it 
represents the master 1,000 hours control, an in-house test that goes beyond the bare chronometer tests, the COSC, a six-position fully cased-up watch test involving, yes, chronometry in six positions rather than five, but also winding efficiency, power reserve, durability, and water resistance. True two-form JLC with 50-meter water resistance on a dress watch. This is caliber 751A, unidirectional automatic winding with hybrid ceramic bearings. It has a 4 hertz beat rate. It has twin mainspring barrels, giving a 65-hour power reserve and excellent and plentiful torque throughout that power reserve. It has the vertical clutch. It has the column wheel. It pivots on 41 joules and it was JLC's first ever in-house automatic chronograph caliber. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Osso at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.